This is amazing. What if you can run more than one function or action in your custom GPT? What if you can run those functions parallelly? That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone. I'm really excited to show you about adding multiple functions or actions in your custom GPT. Not only that, I'm going to take you through advanced level in adding those actions with API key and without API key. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do that. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and stay tuned. Coming to GPT Builder, now it got a lot of updates of adding multiple action and parallel function calling. Now we are going to create a brand new custom GPT. Go to chat.openai.com and there you should be able to see a explore link there. Click the explore link. Then you'll be presented with a page like this. I'm going to click create a GPT. I'm going to type create all in one GPT, which has the capability to check weather and stock price and the send message. Then it responded back. I suggest the name weather and stock assistant. Yes. Happy with that name. Then it created an icon for me and updated my custom GPT. Now we are going to configure page. That's where all the magic happens. We got the name description and instructions. You can update this according to your needs. In the instruction, whatever you mention here, your custom GPT will follow accordingly. Then we have conversation starters. That's the one which you see here on the right hand side. So you can modify this according to your needs. Then we have knowledge section. This is another important section where you can feed in knowledge. It's like a second brain for chat GPT. It automatically saves all your data in the form of embeddings. So we don't need to take care of embeddings. Now I'm going to upload a file. It's about the rise of data driven weather forecasting. Once that is uploaded, we can ask question, explain to me about the rise of data driven weather forecasting. And it gives the summary introduction to the weather forecasting, emergence of machine learning model and forecasting, comparative analysis. These all been taken from the paper. You can add multiple files here and feed the knowledge. Now coming to capabilities, we have web browsing, DALI image generation, code interpreter. I'm going to tick all those. Finally, the most advanced area, which is the actions. We're going to add two different actions, one to find weather, another one to check the stock price. Click the create new action button. Here, I'm going to paste this schema. I've already covered adding actions without API key, with API key and with OAuth, step by step. I will link those in the description below. In this, we are using WTTR.in server. From that, when you pass a location, it will automatically return the weather of the particular location. So I'm going to save this schema, enter the privacy policy URL. Then you can click the update at the top and then confirm. Now we got our weather added. I can ask what is the weather in London? Now I got an answer here. The temperature is 32 degree Fahrenheit, which is around zero degree Celsius. And also it gives the weather forecast for the upcoming days. This means our first action worked. Now we are going back next, adding the second action, create new action. In this, I'm pasting this schema. This schema returns the stock price. I'm using this URL, which I have hosted it in ripple it. And the endpoint, the URL, which we are using is slash stock. This is the application which we are running in ripple it. It uses an API key to authorize the request. If the API key matches, then it will respond with the stock price. So I'm going to use this API key. Go back to our previous page at the bottom. You have authentication, click the icon. Click the API key, then add the API key as a basic type and then save. Now we have added the API key and the privacy policy URL. I've already explained this in detail, step by step, how to create application like this and also integrate with chat GPT, which I will link that in the description below. Then finally, we are going to click the save button, update and confirm. Now it's all ready. Now we are going to view GPT. Now we got to interface custom GPT, which has two functions. One is to check the weather and check the stock price. We are going to test both functions together as a parallel function calling, trying to integrate two different applications into one. What is the stock price of Apple and what is the weather in London? Click enter. It's asking to allow access. I'm clicking that starting action. The latest stock price of Apple is $191.24. As for the weather in London, currently there is mist with a temperature of zero degrees Celsius. That's it. Now we integrate two different function as a form of parallel function calling into your custom GPT. Now you can add multiple functions, multiple application in your custom GPT and give extra powers. 
to perform multiple tasks. That's it, as simple as that. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.